Yeah, sir has joined. One second. Morning, sir. Namaskaram. Happy morning. Happy morning. Uh, Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning, sir. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Can we start the session? Morning, sir. Today I done. Superb, superb, superb. Yes. That's fantastic. Yes, yeah. yes now done, done now. Yeah, today is actually a discussion day. So, any doubts related to our 5M club or mental health? So, it's an open time and we can ask. <laughs> it's time for an open discussion. Namaste, Junior Sangeeta. <laughs> <laughs> so can we have general things also general general also general things if i know definitely i can answer ma'am so <laughs> <laughs> sure. yes please anna i have a doubt yeah uh, i think uh, vijay lakshmi ma'am vijay ma'am yeah 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 this uh, throat uh, throat yes uh, throat is infected okay for the throat infection actually we used to tell you na that uh, we have an uh, ujjayini breathing so breathing through neck so those who have the what's it uh, what's it uh, thyroid issues respiration issues and uh, throat infections all those things we can do the ujjayini breathing the breathing like we take the breathing through neck usually we take the breathing through the nasal point so the inhale should start from the nasal point but the breathing should go through neck so it's like a uh, make sound like a snoring so this should go through nasal point so if you do it daily for 10 to 12 times or even 20 times so based on your situation all your uh, throat infections all your respiration issues and nasal issues will uh, solve so we have various types of breathing uh, Uh, exercises this is one of the beautiful exercise especially those who have the snoring issue they can practice it every day how how will you explain it again since so today like, all our family members are affecting throat infection okay okay so actually we take the breathing like abdomen breathing we take in so it should go to abdomen and it should come to abdomen right but mm. when come to the uh, nasal when come to the hala breathing it goes till the lungs and it comes from the lungs but when it goes to the this thing ujjayini breathing neck. it should go till the neck so the connecting point of the neck you you should feel the flow of air inside your this thing the neck point neck. yeah so you should feel it even in your mouth you should feel that flow of oxygen but you should not inhale through the mouth it should be only through the neck but the flow of air should be through the neck point can you it's over a practice definitely you can usually we used to inhale through the uh, only the nasal point but here we are doing it in a different way so that is a thing so definitely it requires a practice even that is what i always used to say in our uh, uh, be breathing so those who have where, an issue where you, sorry where you explain all this where where will you explain all this you will you explaining these things these items anyway No, 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 no. Only here, only we are telling. That's it. Okay. Now, in in B breathing exercise, we ask you to breathe right. So while counting, 
so during that time we tell if anyone have any issues so if someone has a thyroid issues they can do the ujjayini breathing if someone has a respirational issues or uh, heart issues and all cardiac issues they can do a hala breathing if someone has abdominal issues or digestion or intestinal issues they can do a abdomen breathing so based on their issues they can do even for the finger rotation also they can do the uh, corresponding breathing so that is how they can do okay so it all requires so you should have a complete awareness on the neck so you should feel the flow of air inside your neck so you can practice it even for 10 to 15 minutes you can practice it and this is one of the beautiful exercise which will solve many issues so yoga has a beautiful uh, uh, what is that healing uh, issues so that is a beauty of yoga which we uh, got from our indian tradition and this is a boon for us so there are many things which can be cured through yoga so this is one of the beautiful exercises and breathing technique uh, it is kind of a powerful thing so like anything so yoga has uh, eight angas like ashtangas how we have this thing so we have eight niyamas in yoga and breathing is one of that uh, the top most thing so we need to do all these eight things then only we'll finish the yoga people used to say that they finish the exercise and they feel that they are done with the yoga no it's not like that start with the dhyanam and end with the yoga nidra so all these eight scripts when you complete that is what dhyanam It's a complete yoga process. So that's why even I always used to say you, after completion of brain gym, please take 5 to 10 minutes of yoga nidra. So I think uh, uh, for new Jainists, uh, you might not be having that uh, yoga nidra audio clip. I think Yamini, so do you remember that uh, audio? So you can uh, reshare it again in our uh, new group. So yeah. that uh, people can follow that one. Yoga nidra is one of the beautiful exercises. actually i'm planning to working on with my friend so i think uh, most of our uh, impact friends no slavanya so lavanya narayanan yeah she is my uh, psychology classmate and we are working on this uh, chakra healing process so we will be doing that one so we are working on this thing so that uh, 6 to 620 we can have it so immediately after that one so that we can work on something where we can heal ourselves this kind of one of the chakra healing so soon we will be coming out we are working on that model so once it's uh, get uh, designed properly we'll start executing so that's it so is it fine ma'am so you please practice it actually thank you, yeah thank you especially you, you have to make sound here uh, make sound yeah make sound there is no need even if you don't get sound also not a problem but you should feel that flow of uh, air yeah. do only through the nasal point only okay yeah yeah mini no nice time of right you yes, you yes, have yes, to join yes. there So if anything uh, which can be answered within one minute or two minute, then uh, we can. No, uh, like uh, money, sir. We... Money, yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. While we doing in Kataka, one stretching exercise is like yeah, infinity method. Yes, yes, you are doing like lazy eight. Yeah, lazy eight. Lazy eight or sleeping eight. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. So actually the yes, people are doing it like this so you should do it eight like this so i'm showing it for this thing so yeah that's why i confused you sir that's you why i had the center point every time you should come to the center point and then go so make a center point and then come to the zero and then zero it is like vowel not the round make the j8 like this 
So the the one part of eight is oval. You are telling, Anna. Every the, part it should go. It should go like this, and then come like, and then this. If you start from right. left, left up, and then left down, and then again come to the center, right up, and then right down, and then again come to the center. It should be like this. Left Anisha, up, I will do it. left right. down. center right up right down yes 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 perfect yeah it should not be like a single round there is no round at all in the lazy eight it should be like this you can practice this with the finger first so that you will know that uh, infinity shape properly so accordingly you need to do that one even for the kids we used to do this exercise we place the eight on the floor and we ask the kids to walk on the eight so this is one of the beautiful exercise to activate both left brain and right brain even you can do it in the home also so we have that chalk piece right so make a big gate in the home ask them to walk in eight even that is one of the beautiful exercise for even the uh, bigger persons also adults also you can make a big gate if it is a ground actually you can make an eight So even if you remember in the traffic uh, thing also for the license, they ask you to do the eight. That is yes, the balancing yes. both left and right. So there is not just a traffic examination, but it is to balance so how effectively you can balance both left side and right side. So you can mark eight in the home if the small kids are there. Even even for the for one year two year students those who can walk can start it from now itself so their brain will be so sharp this is one of the beautiful exercise this you can make it so that they can walk like that even you can also walk like that like a train also you can make it so keep my hold of my hands and we can do this six okay so thank you. i think it's time to move to task So thank you all for joining today's brain gym, and thank you for the practice yeah, session. Yeah. And hope you had a good discussion day. Yeah. So thank see you at the. Thank you. Class. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay now. Welcome now. Sorry. Thank you, Guruji. Thank you. Thank you. So. Thank you.